And there we go. Let's play some Dark Cloud, dudes. I'm excited to play some Dark Clouds. I would love to finish the game tonight, but I don't think it's going to happen. We have, what, like three, three and a half hours? I don't know, man. We still have, what, this whole level to beat, dungeon to beat, whatever you want to call it. We've only done the first floor or two, and then I'm pretty sure there's another one after it. So I feel like we probably have at least one, maybe two more streams after today before Dark Cloud's finished up. I guess we'll find out, though. Secret path key. That's pretty convenient. Like, okay, we know what that does. Foundation. We still know what that does, but it's some sort of quest item, so we do need to keep it. Is there anything we need to, like, move around or anything? No, we could use some food, though. We're pretty low on food. Hey, look at that! Twitch disconnected. Big surprise. It happens every freaking time, man. Seriously, it's like every stream that we start up, Twitch has to disconnect at least once or twice in the first half hour or so. And then after that, it seems like it's more or less okay, but... Anyways, whatever. I'm just venting about Twitch's bullshit. We should probably, real quickly... Before we hop in the dungeon, we should probably go grab some food just in case we start to, like, die. I'm just going to get the food from No Rune Village, the starting town. I think they sell bread. They might sell meat. I don't remember what food they sell exactly, but either way, we'll go here and grab some. That way we have some. And just in case, like, we start to die or whatever, at least we'll have some sort of food. Even if it's not the best food, it's... Some food's better than no food, right? That's kind of... That's kind of what I'm going for here. Ooh, it's actually struggling to reconnect. Was it my internet? Did my internet actually die for once? I still have Wi-Fi. Let's run a speed test and see if I'm connected. Yeah, nope, my internet's working just fine. Yeah, no, my internet's running great. Okay. I didn't figure it was me. It's usually not, but you never know. Oh, did it reconnect? Hey, there we go. Twitch figured out its shit. It's so dumb. Store open and food. So you do. You just have bread. That's fine. Uh, we'll buy. We can put bread in our like main bar. It stacks up to I think nine. If I remember correctly. So we'll just do nine of them. And then we'll take out the meat ah you bastard I hate how we can like quickly put things in the active item slots but we can't quickly take stuff out it's just like mm, why is that a thing dude twitch closed on you nice I mean twitch is just twitch is twitch it's being dumb I'm not surprised Oh, can we not put food first? I guess water first is the best we can do. Thought you froze and you never came back. No, I'm here. It's just Twitch. Twitch is being twitchy. That's all. Then you realize it wasn't open anymore. Oof. I'm a little lost. I'm going to go put some of this stuff. Is it actually storming, Noodle? Should I hope we don't lose power again? Anyways, um, I know there's like a chance of some storms, but I didn't think it was gonna, I don't know, it didn't look that bad out whenever I was just outside. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna put like some of these bombs and stuff in here just because it's, you know, taking up so much space. Now oh, she has limited space too in here, but you haven't heard it thundering, but you have the washer and dishwasher going. Hmm, okay. I don't know. It might not be. It just, it did sound like it to me, but I'm also wearing headphones and playing the game, so who knows. I could be hearing things. We probably don't need to carry this many revival powders with us. Uh, standing powder. Okay. We'll take the rest of this crap with us. We have water. We have some food. We have a little bit of repair powder and stuff. And then, most importantly, we have space to pick up new things. Oh. Didn't actually want you there. Granny, I... Just trying to check to see if there were any boxes that I couldn't see. 
All right, back to the desert on, is it the desert on the moon? <laughs> Where are we? No, okay. It's the sun and moon temple. It's not actually on the moon. That's good. It'd be scary. Imagine if it was, man. Does that mean like the next one would be on the sun? Do we just kind of, like freaking wear some sort of, no, I guess it'd be magic. I was going to say wear some sort of like future tech that, that just keeps us alive in the, the heat of the freaking moon, but no, I suppose we have magic in this universe, so that'd probably make a lot more sense. Eh? Let's switch to Zhao. We're still trying to get Super Steve leveled up. Or we're trying to get Steve leveled up to Super Steve. I don't remember how to play. I don't even know what weapon are we using right now. Are we using Steve? We are. Why? Did we... We might have just applied something to it or are we trying to level steve up steve is ready to level up but he has nothing in him okay so we probably just got him to the point to where he could be upgraded which in that case we need to equip the steel slingshot hmm oh the steel slingshot already has some crap in it too nice okay it's going to be really weak, which is going to make, like, killing anything with it annoying. We can always do the, the cheese where you kill something with, with your powerful weapon and then swap over to a weak weapon. Nothing stopping us from doing that. It's just a little bit annoying to do all the time. I think we might have also been working on the, the new, the, like, genie lady. I think we might have been working on her weapon, maybe? This is what happens whenever... I don't remember if I skipped last week or if it's just, you know, because memory, but I don't remember what we were doing last week, though. Uh, we'll start with the big box, see what we get. Chopper! Is that just a normal knife for our dude here? It is. Light and easy to use dagger. God, we get so many weapons for, for Toen, however the hell you're supposed to pronounce his name. Which sucks, because, like... He sucks, dude. <laughs> like, he's, it's just the combat in this game isn't exactly amazing. At least to me. I'm sure there's people out there that freaking adore the combat. But to me, like, I'd much rather just use one of the ranged characters and just let them die. You found your stickers? That's good. Where were they hiding at? Why were they hiding? We should move... Her weapon over to here so that it's one less thing we have to click oh okay I didn't expect it to die in one hit put them in your old laptop bag oh okay I mean I guess that makes sense keep them safe that way oh, we do need to move back see this is the this is the problem this is why as good as the cheese is, this is why I hate it. Because I constantly forget to move things back and forth, man. What kind of enemies we're going to get here? I hope it's nothing too much of a pain in the ass. Thankfully, there's not much Steve can't seem to deal with. So I'm not really worried about him being like too powerful or anything. It's just like... If they guard a lot or are super resistant, I guess, to Steve or something like that, then could be annoying. Another antidote. Always nice, I guess. Open up some Atla with our boy here. We're going to need more repair powders soon, too. Odds and ends, that sounds like a store. Curious what they sell. If it's any of the, the stuff we need for Steve. I really want to get the gems or whatever it is from that shop that I had read about. But I'm pretty sure it's the final shop in the game. Like, I don't think we're really going to be getting there anytime soon. Which sadly means there's a good chance that we don't level up to Super Steve before we beat the game. As much as, as, much as I want to, I'm not sure it's going to happen. Wait, why are you still alive? You came back with more health? 
I guess because they're mummies, like they're undead, maybe they just do that sometimes? Anyways, um... I guess, like, you could probably, if you were doing it super optimized or whatever, you could probably get a couple of weapons, one or two weapons maxed out before you got to the end of the game. But honestly, like, the getting to the end tier of a weapon seems like it would just take too long, realistically speaking, to be done in, like, a single run, especially when it's your first time playing the game, like it is for me here, you know? Like, if you knew exactly what you needed and where to get it and all of that stuff, then yeah, I'm sure it's possible, but holy hell. Not for me, my guy. Uh, I mean, we're already over here. And the exit's over there, too, so yeah, no. We'll, we'll keep going this way for now. Is there any way we can shoot that dude before going over there? Isn't there, like, a first-person view? Yeah. Oh, but he's, like, flying back and forth. What kind of... It looks like a piece of candy that we're shooting at this dude. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, wait. Did he slow down, or did I just really mistime that? I don't know. I give up. Nate, what's up, my guy? Welcome. Naughty Alistair 96. Or sorry, Naughty Alistair. What's up, dude? <laughs> Thanks for the resub. Do you have anywhere specific you want your votes to go to, man? Sadly, I think you might have missed whenever we were talking about the new games that we got. Um, game? There we go. It's like, why can I not cross? Hello! Hi, sir. Welcome. I don't know if you're going to be awake tonight or not, but... Chocobo was talking about trying to get a party together to play some Prop Hunter. I know you work tomorrow, or at least I assume you work tomorrow. So if you can't make it, no worries, my guy. But Prop Hunter type games I feel like are much better with more people. Wherever I like, many thanks, dude. Um... That's a great question, though. Where do I want it? You're hoping to join? Awesome. Well, I do hope to see you there, man. Said, I feel like those games are better the more people you have, but also, like, I like playing games with you. You go, bro. Jurassic Hunt? Nah, I don't think I want it on Jurassic Hunt. Like, <laughs> games don't really need that many votes now with the way I have the, the thingy set up, unless it's, like, a game to complete games to complete because it just takes so much longer and uh because there's like a lot of them with varied levels of votes on them you do kind of need a bunch of votes for one of them to realistically happen in any reasonable time period but the games just to play that we already own there's not that many games with votes on it and at least whenever we're doing our normal schedule, we play like three of them a week. So we get through relatively quickly. So you really don't need a ton of votes. Having a ton of votes just means it'll happen, you know, a couple of days sooner or whatever. But even one vote, once we get through the, the games that have votes, one vote would just be an automatic win. Oh, you bastard. I wasn't ready. I was trying to scratch my head. I don't know. Dark Alliance 2, maybe? Since I know you like the Dark Alliance games. Doesn't sound bad. Uh, Shepherd's Crossing is a game that I want to try. Just because I've always been curious. Like, I've seen the game before. And it looks like it could be a Stardew Valley. Or, well, I guess back then more like Harvest Moon-esque game. Maybe? But it doesn't look as good. And I'm not really sure. Because I've only ever, like, looked at it, right? I've never actually played it before. And then, of course, there's the uh, actual good games. Didn't get vote on the Dragon Ball games as well? Didn't he vote? Nate, you mean? I think he has in the past. Yeah, I think he has in the past voted on some of them. I'm assuming we have the wrong thing equipped. What do we need? The gold ring? Yeah, I did... Nope, okay, it's not that one either. I did get Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, that's true. 
So wait, can we just not go in here? Crystal with a yellow beam. Maybe it will react with some spell. So since it's yellow, I'm assuming we need something that has like a lightning type attribute, but customize or no attribute. This one's ice. This one's fire. This one, I mean, we have some thunder equipped to it. So if we change the attribute, will that do the trick? Or does it need to be, like, a thunder-based one for it to work? Nope. Okay, that works. Cool. It's still really gonna suck, like, if an attribute pops up that we just don't have. Like, what are we gonna do then, man? I'm assuming the game's set up so that won't happen? Hopefully? Did we hit the mummy somehow just then? <laughs> How the heck did we hit the mummy while shooting for this guy? Slingshot's ready to level up. Dope. Weapon. Steel slingshot. Upgrade. Yes, please. Get that dude in there. Oh, God. Okay. And then... God, what do we need for Super Steve? I do not remember. Build up. We need MP, which I think that's why we were building up the ladies thing, because a bunch of hers have high MP. So I think we were going for that there. Thunder Holy. Uh, mage Metal Undead. Thunder Holy Mage Metal Undead. Thunder Holy Mage Metal Undead. Thunder Holy Mage Metal Undead. We have none of those. Good stuff. Okay, you know what? <laughs> well, hold on. Didn't we give, like... But I think that's because I want to actually use that one. Yeah, and those ones I don't actually want to use. Um... So I remember going through and putting, like, stuff on people's weapons. Because I think I talked about upgrading some other people's weapons to the point that we could then give them to Super Steve as well. Well, the chopper's new, so definitely not that. Attack of 30, though. That's not bad. It's just an endurance one, and this is one that I wanted to upgrade eventually to whatever the next level is. But you... Two Thunders and a Topaz, a gem. Yeah, I think I might have been working on upgrading that. You just had a couple attack ups. Well then, why not just upgrade you then? Was I trying to go for something specific with you? Ah, oh, no, screw it, whatever, just upgrade. It's ready to upgrade, like why not, dude? And then... This one's actually better though. A lot better. So, equip you. Oh, shoot. Helps if I have the right person equipped, though, huh? Hopefully nobody's super resistant to what she has, which is holy. Holy seems like it should work pretty well around here, right? These creatures seem to be a little uh, unholy in nature. It's not as strong as Steve, but it's doing pretty well. And we don't have to do the stupid cheese for leveling up weapons. Which means everything goes a little bit quicker, a little bit more smoothly. I'll definitely take that repair powder. Thank you for that game. The more it gives, the less I have to buy, which is very much appreciated. Not that money's like that big of a deal to us right now, but assuming we do try to get Super Steve, whenever we unlock that gem shop, I don't know how much they're going to be, you know? The gems could be very reasonably priced, or they might be ex expensive as hell. I have no clue, but I'm trying to save as much money as we reasonably can for that. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. 
Did we get the thing we needed to leave? I think we did. Could also explore the B side here, but... I don't know, now with that, like, when we were early in the game, I really wanted to explore the back rooms a lot. Because the back rooms have, like, extra weapons and chests and better items, etc. But now that we're so close to the end of the game, it just feels kind of like a waste to explore them. It's just like you're fighting harder enemies, and that's... that's it. Which, I mean, I guess... oh, got stuck. I guess could be good just for... more experience, right? But other than that, man, it's like, mm. Did we get lucky with that? Or does her magic hit through blocks? I feel like we might have asked that question before. But I don't remember. I don't remember much. On a good day, I don't remember much. And right now, I'd be very sleepy, so remember extra little. I think it's you, King Slate. Yeah, there we go, dude. Go further. We'll go to the next floor. We're good on food. We're good on water. I think we're all right for now. This dude finally decided to join us. Uh, that might mean the next floor is like exclusive to him, though. Come on, Ungaga. What's happened to you? that Umgaga is the strongest warrior in the whole Muska Desert. Maybe he used to be, but not anymore. He failed to protect village. He is no longer a warrior. He's weak now. Hmm. You know what? Being strong in... Being strong in on the battlefield and being strong as a person... Being strong in on? Am I having a stroke or is that not... I think that's a poor translation are not the same, are they now? What do you think of Stream, the one who is with me? What do I think? I don't understand. I sense something very strong from that person. Like a will, a power deep within him, in his heart. I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah, Stream is strong. I am weak. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I see the talks with Ngagas going well. I think we'll put the votes on Dark Alliance 2 for Nate. If I can find it. What, what's it under? It's under Baldur's Gate. Oh, wait. No, there's already some votes on that. So, tell you what. We'll skip that one. We'll go ahead and put it on the Dragon Ball one that Noodle mentioned. A, B, C, D, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi. There we go. There's your votes placed, my guy. You're welcome. What do we got? Golems? We fought a couple of these before. They're not too bad. Okay, well, they're a little worse whenever we get, like, surrounded by things. Oh. Oh, come on. Dude, lock on, man. Oh, good. These, whatever these, like, overgrown wasps are seem to be weak to our magic. That's handy. I'm not looking forward to having to use Umgaga. Bruh. <laughs> Wasn't trying to open that, but thanks for the magic crystal. Oh, they're phantom bees, that's why. Mm, you. Open the atlas, sir. Totem pole A. I think we've gotten a couple of totem totem pole. Ah! Totem pole parts. Holy shit. Do you want to make another coffee? If you're as tired as I am, then yeah, probably. <laughs> I could use a tea myself if you're coming up this way. If not, I'll come down and grab it here in a minute. But... Oh, man. I forgot we had, like, the Kamehameha. I definitely need something. Just something. That offers some kind of energizing... Would you like a Tim Tam? Sure, I'll take a Tim Tam. I don't really remember much about them, but... Um, no, I'll take two. Two Tim Tam sounds good. 
Two Tim Tams and any bottle of tea. That's what, fish bait? So literally just money for us? Because we've decided that fishing is not going to happen. <laughs> not for us, man. Uh, we need to fix. Come on, stop blocking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear it about to break. We can kill these dudes first. Prepare. Yeah, we're a little over halfway of having it leveled up too, which is handy. They're really not giving us like much Atla per floor. I wonder if this dungeon's gonna end up being a lot larger or if they're just bottom loading the, the Atla. The spheres. That or maybe maybe there's just not as many in this town that we're rebuilding. I guess that's a real possibility as well. Oh my god. Uh, we could use some water soon. There's no water in this dungeon though, is there? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> I'm not seeing any on the map. I see like a pad over there that could be good, could be bad. Don't really know until you step on it. There may be some way of like looking at the symbol and figuring out what it does ahead of time or something. But uh, I don't know man. We're just gonna see what fate has in store for us, you know? <laughs> roll the dice, see how lucky or unlucky we get every time we roll, run over it. Ooh. Damn you. Freaking mimics, man. All I want is some repair powder in my life, but no. The mimics gotta drink it all. Keeping it to themselves. We'll come back for you, door. I don't even think we've gotten the thing we need to open the door yet, either way, but... Is it worth charging it up? I don't know how much stamina it uses to do the special attack versus the regular. Seems to do roughly three times damage though, which is pretty good. Okay, health is now deteriorating. We will drink some water. Beat this game already? I'm working on it, my guy, but turns out it's somewhat long. Or what, like 25-ish hours in? 26 hours in? Something like that? You'll be stopping in and out because Tekken Tournament. Hey, very nice, man. Wish you luck. Is it a, uh, I'm assuming, online tournament? Wait, are you watching or are you participating? I'm guessing you're... Per uh, yeah. Participating. watching ah uh, damn well ignore my good luck then good luck to whoever you like <laughs> whichever whichever player or uh i don't know i don't know if you have like a favorite player if not then whoever's playing your main good luck to them i suppose thank you for the tea and the tim tams i appreciate it Ugh. Good luck, Team Brawl, Brawl Pro. <laughs> I can't word on a good day, dude. You can't throw words like Brawl Pro. <laughs> that's not... That's, it doesn't even... It's not even a word. <laughs> Brawl Pro. But good luck to them, man. Hope they win the whole thing. They got this in the bag, for sure. No doubt in my mind. I'm gonna eat a Tim Tam real quick and then take a drink of tea. I should probably do it in the other order, actually. The Tim Tams are sweet, so it's gonna like ruin the diet tea, the taste of it. God, that's cold, cold. Holy shit. Oh my god. I know it's like fresh out of the fridge, but I didn't expect it to be like painfully cold. Mm -mm -mm. We're running out of stuff to upgrade. 
guess we can start using a melee character and hoping for the best. I mean, we are using, like, her weapon, his weapon, and a couple of his weapons. Mainly for things they already have. Not because of what we can add to them. But it would still be nice to, you know, put actual things on their weapons before we upgrade them. The more stuff we have on there, the better chance we have of reaching Super Steve. These are pretty good, Noodle. I haven't had Tim Tams in a while. Ooh. Wrong person. Like, I remember liking them, I just don't remember them being this good. And like, holy hell. Yeah, other than being slow as hell, that's not too bad. 24 per hit, or 25 per hit. Come on, dude. Get the last hit in on him. There we go. Is he gonna... Okay. <laughs> it's like... I wasn't sure he was gonna actually die there for a second. This is the one we want to upgrade, right? Yeah. Didn't want to sit around here like... Status of the equipped weapon change? What does that mean? Okay, whatever. I, I literally have no idea what that's talking about. Weapons can have statuses? I... Hmm. As far as I can tell, nothing really... Change, change. I guess after we leave this dungeon, like unlock the door, we'll go back to town. If we're lucky, we'll be able to actually get the shop up and running. I don't know if the game's going to be nice enough to let us do that right away, but... We at least unlock the Atla for what sounds like the shop. The big question is just, do we have the person to run it and whatever they need? Uh, leave dungeon temporarily. To town. I really feel like this is unnecessary. Having this little area in between the dungeon and the town. Okay. I have no idea and I don't think it really matters. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to throw stuff down. Fuck, why do I keep doing that? Here, have some trees around your house, bro. <laughs> some roads. Put the roads right across. Straight across town here. Perfect. It's beautiful. Next. <laughs> oh, wait, that's it? I could have swore we had... Odds in it. Oh! Shit, okay. I thought when we got odds and ends, I thought that was the name of, like, a building. <laughs> no, it's just literally, like, some random junk. Well, damn, dude. Okay, we can finish a random totem pole. That's nice. What is this? Is this a cabin? There we go. Some stairs. Awesome. Alright, so now I guess we just need to go talk to this guy. 
and figure out what he actually needs. Ooh, Undead Buster. That's nice. That's something that we need. We can equip that to... I guess it doesn't matter if we equip it to the Steel Slingshot. Or, well, hers is ready to upgrade now. Oh, wait. She already has crap on it. Cool. Upgrade. <laughs> Sick. Okay, and that takes it to level three. So I think maybe we should keep focusing on hers then. But Undead Buster is still something that we need. And it already has some undead on it. That's perfect. Cool. All right, Jibubu. Oh, I've never seen you before. Aha, I see. It's you, the boy I hear about stirring things up. My name is Jibubu. Pleasure to meet you. You as well, Jibubu. Uh, uh, what do you need for your house? Can you place the hay for the roof by the house? Oh, and don't forget about the totem. I'm guessing, like, he needs a mini totem and some hay? Do we have... Ride straw? No. But we do have plenty of mini totems. Damn, I guess even if he is a shopkeep, then, we're kind of SOL at the moment. All these people and nowhere to put them. All right, uh, just throw us down here then by the road. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. There is like that pre-placed house over there that I'm assuming is, what was it? Was it Ungaga? It was Ungaga. I'm assuming it's his house, but. Ooh, 100 stream streak, very nice. Breakers. Kind of pointless to us at the moment. I mean, I guess technically it would help us fate like golems if we wanted to swap it in and out, but golems aren't that hard to beat to begin with. Nothing else popping up? Doesn't look like it. Let's talk to the dude. Do you have anything new? Gaga is in bad shape. I'll have a talk with him, so that's a no. I got weak, me strong. Okay, well. They'll figure their shit out eventually. Let's just go back down in. I think we can do one more floor. Between trying to use the melee characters a bit and then also finding out that we could upgrade Pokalol, po 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 whatever the hell that weapon was called. I think we're okay on stuff for now. This is an empty floor. It usually means we're either restricted to a specific character or it's some sort of boss fight. Restricted to a specific character. Okay. Well, I was just saying we're going to try and use this dude anyway, so... Grow with some and no other characters are available here. So we can change our weapons and do all of that stuff. We're just stuck with Goro. As far as, like, actual use goes. Oh, you bastard. Can't see, the camera sucks. Okay, we really need to be close to hit. And of course, this dude doesn't like get staggered. Which, I mean, makes sense, look at the dude. I wouldn't really expect him to get staggered. He can take a lot of hits though, that's annoying. I kind of wish I would have brought some of the bombs, man. <laughs> like, oh, we do have at least one bomb on us, but there's probably gonna be more golems. Let's save them in case we get into, like, an actual bad spot. Can we move after we charge? We can. There we go, dude. That's the secret. That's what we want to be doing. At least with the golems. Just charge up, wait for them attack, and then sneak in close, and... How did that miss? We were on top of the dude. I'm so glad... Oh my god. We should have brought more food. Guess with him in general, maybe we should just do charge attacks. Hmm. Uh, that took up a lot of stamina. Or endurance on the weapon, whatever you want to call it. It seems like just doing anything with this thing takes up a lot of endurance, to be honest with you. Uh, da -da -da -da. Do we have any like actual food other than... 
no. We do have a few bombs, though. I was hoping we had some, like, just other cheap food other than the bread that we brought along with us here. Why, oh, you bastard. Oh. Is there, like, a... Is there, like, a shockwave effect or something on our attack? Monster is pumped with energy. That's... That's not what we want to see, dude. Especially when we're using a character like Goro. That's rough. Oh, we're gonna die to a mimic. Oh wait, the the energy pumping already stopped. I think there is like some sort of after after wave thing. There is. But it cost a lot for us to use that, man. We're gonna be going through repair powder like crazy with this guy. We only have three left and we've only killed now three different characters. Like we've used two repair powder to kill three things. That's not a good look. Please be, nope, okay. It's really hoping for repair powder. Uh, we could just start skipping enemies. I hate doing that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Of course, if we skip too many, we might not get the item that we need to actually open everything. Uh, I know we can do it, it's just like, bruh, why make things such a pain in the ass? Oh, are we invincible when we're in an attack animation? That was a... Oh, wait. No, oh, cool. Okay, well, a couple of things. One, there's the item we need to get out of here. And two, it looks like we only lose stamina when we actually hit. Or endurance, whatever you want to call it. That was cheap. <laughs> we were stuck because of the end of the attack animation when the dude hit us with his, his shockwave thing. At least he's not pumped with energy. That probably would have freaking murdered us if it was. Okay, so that used one stamp, uh, endurance. That used one. Yeah, I mean, we get a lot more attacks in, in a shorter period of time, but I think for repair powder conservation, it's probably best to just do, like, the single hits. And worst case scenario, even though, like, I'm trying to level up this specific weapon right now, worst case scenario, we do have other weapons he can use that are just better. Like this trial hammer, I still don't know what the effects are that it has on it. The pour and the ABS up. ABS up, I mean, is pretty self-explanatory, but I have no idea what pour is. And then the big bucks hammer, that just gives us money. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure every time we, we hit something with it, it just gives us dough. And it's pretty strong with an attack of 40. I'm only using the weapon we're using because I'm trying to level up Super Steve. Or level up Steve to Super Steve. Upgrade? Upgrade Steve to Super Steve. Uh, what was I doing? Water. We need water. There you go. Get yourself a drink. You looking thirsty, boy. Um, door. We just smack it. Get smacked, door. A lot of chests up this way. And before two of them are mimics. Is feeling like a two mimic kind of almost a door two mimic kind of zone here. Fighting two of these golems could be annoying, honestly. I guess again we could do the same sort of like cheese-ish strats like we were doing before, right? Switch to the big bucks hammer, get them almost dead. Or just, like, even kill them with the Big Bucks Hammer and then just switch to the other one afterwards. Shockwave attack is so annoying. Do we... Oh, okay. That was close. 
May end up falling asleep. Me too, honestly, dude. It's okay. Bro, why are you like hitting us so much now all of a sudden? We were having like no problem with golems and now all of a sudden they just beaten the hell out of us. Oh, I think they're not getting knocked back because of the stupid floor. And plus like the one golem being behind the other. And since it doesn't actually like stop the animation, if they don't get the knockback from our hammer, then they still hit us. That's what's going on. So we really need to be careful when we're fighting like two of these dudes in a row. But we got the item we need to leave. So like worst case scenario, if we get close to dying, we just freaking run, basically. We are gonna have to go buy more food. You're a dick. Gonna have to go buy more food and some more repair powder before we go down to the next floor, though. So this one really ate into our stores. And we can go ahead and upgrade you. Okay. Check the chests. We got... It's not too Mimic, so I'll, I'll take that. Speed plus one, which is fine. There's a Mimic. A... That looks like a powered up Mimic. I'm actually kind of scared. Okay, we're fine. Oh, that was close, dude. We've really got to be careful with that charge attack. I don't think there's a way to, like, cancel it once it starts, man. Bastard. Okay. Yeah, I think we gotta start running from the rest of the enemies at this point, sadly. 46. That's only maybe one more hit. Depending on the enemy, that might be enough to kill us in one hit. So I'm just gonna check for these last couple of chest. Well, I guess we have one food left. And do we still have chicken? We still have chicken. We might go... Yeah, we still have the chicken. We'll go a little bit longer on this floor. So I do want to level these things up, and the only way to do that is by murdering stuff. Although, honestly, like, killing these things seems to give us, like, four to six AB or whatever it's called per kill, right? Whereas, like, killing basic enemies... Um, we're gonna leave. I'm still gonna go check the chest. But these guys being butted up against each other, it's just not worth it. Anyways, killing basic enemies, I'm pretty sure, still gives you at least one ABS, right? Like, no matter what. But, like, it's so much easier to kill stuff in the first dungeon than in this dungeon. I honestly think it's better to just go back to the earlier dungeons if you need to level up weapons and grind it out. Because you're using less repair powder, because you're not... Oh, nope. Okay, screw the Mimic. Anyways, using less repair powder because you're not swinging as many times. You're not taking as much damage, so you're taking you're using less food. And you're able to just kill four things faster than you can kill, like, one thing in this instance. Uh, so, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it to grind on, like, whatever your current level is. The only benefit to it, really, I guess, would be getting the higher level items for whichever dungeon you're in. Or having the potential to at least but more often than not the uh chests that we find are just garbage anyways uh leave dungeon temporarily bro still not ready to like join us or whatever i'm pretty sure no room sells something. I remember there was at least like one thing we couldn't buy because we didn't pick the right thing for the water shop. Which is just stupid. <laughs> like, I didn't know by changing the name of the item, the, the water shop, it would change the items that they sell. But I think he sells the thunder. 
don't think anybody sells the Mage Slayer. That might have been the one that was, like, impossible for us to get. So we can get more Thunder. And, and Holy? Yeah, he sells Thunder and Holy. Uh, we will sell Curse Amulet, Curse Amulet, all the bait. That's a lot of money for us. We'll save one Curse Amulet. It gave us so many. I feel like it might end up being worth something to have in our inventory. And then... How much are these? These are 300? Okay, I need... Sell a Mimic Buster. There we go. There. Now we have... Customize. So we have four holies and what? Three thunders? And three thunders. Wait, what do you have right now? I feel like it's better to stack. You have three of each. Okay. Let's stack holy, I guess? Well, the, mm, the p p Pakalal or whatever has a fair bit of holy already. Let's stack thunder on you, actually. Were you ready to upgrade? No. Okay, that's fine. You, the steel hammer, what do you have? You have thunder. So I guess we'll give you, I guess, one of each. And then the Poklal. Poklakal. <laughs> you, oh, you have an undead buster in you. Cool, okay. So we actually have one extra at the moment, but that's fine. It's a lot of holy. That's 35. Now, granted, we only get 60% whenever it transfers over, but still. That's a good bit. Uh, what else do we need? Repair powder. Repair powder. We also need some of that. What else can we sell? Anything? Not that's really worth anything, huh? I mean, we could sell the Curse Amulet. How much is repair powder? I think they're 50. 20. Okay, they're actually pretty cheap. As we found out, though, <laughs> might actually need a lot of them. So, one of the fires. I don't think we're going to need the fishy boys for a while. Sure, we'll sell one fish, one mimic. Give us... How many do we have in total? So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then since we have the stuff, go ahead and give me another give me another thunder. Alright. Go to other area. Back to the Sun and Moon Temple. And we got another floor to clear. I'm still going to try to play, like, in a reasonable way, but I am just trying to get through the game at this point. I really enjoy the game, like, what I've played of it so far. It's been really good. It's just, like, it's a little too samey, I think, as the game goes on for me. Uh, let's focus on... on you, I think. Your arranged character, which I just enjoy playing with. We forgot to buy food. <laughs> uh, thankfully, we do have the chicken still. So in case of emergency, we still have something. But anyways, yeah. I just I enjoy playing with ranged characters. You're one of the closest to being able to turn into a thingy for us. To upgrade Steve with. It just makes sense to me to use you first. If I was going to try to get another person's final weapon, though, because she's a ranged character, I'd probably do hers next. It sucks that, like, this weapon, the one that we're using, is her best weapon that we have by a decent bit. Because when we get rid of it, obviously, we're going to lose a lot of that stuff. And then whenever we go on to the... Oh, there's a chest there. It's like, what are we getting stuck on? Uh, whenever we 
get rid of this thing, we're gonna have to move down to one of the weaker weapons for her, which is just meh. She's not gonna be as good anymore. How much does it cost to do your, like, power attack? Just one? So your power attack's worth it, then. It just takes a second to load. What time would prop hunt be at? Generally, we do it the same, like, roughly the same time that we would be doing streams. Or, like, the normal game nights that we do. That was dumb. I don't know why I risked it. I mean, it ended up working out, but still. Uh, so, probably between 12 and 1 o'clock is when we would get started. And then go just until, you know, the majority of people are done, or it's, like, super late. Because I do have to work tomorrow, sadly. So I can't be up, like, you know, forever. Next week's prop hunt, though... I guess it depends what day it's going to be on. Tuesday afternoon, if I'm not exhausted and people are home, would be fine by me. But Wednesday night just seems to work better for most people. So it'll probably end up being Wednesday night again, to be honest. I would be willing to do, like, Wednesday afternoon, but I don't know when I'm going to be home exactly on Wednesday. So with it being vacation, I plan on going out for a bit. Oh, more bait. That's more uh, money for us. More money to throw at... Oh, shoot. Not Zhao. Just, like, instinctively grab her now. Uh, but anyways, the, the attribute things, whatever the hell they're called. Tree? We got a tree? Thanks, game. As far as I can tell, the Mr. Blair? You're kind of annoying, aren't you? With your guarding and shit. Anyways, as far as I can tell, the trees are literally pointless. They don't seem to be spawning locations for the upgrades that we get, the little surprise boxes. I know, like, some characters have mentioned wanting to be next to, like, trees, I think. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't actually matter if you do what they want. <laughs> you know? Like... Sure, they want it, but I don't think it matters if you give it to them or not. So you can just kind of ignore it and lay things out any way you want. It's nice they give you that freedom, but at the same time, it would have been cool if you got, like, extra bonuses for doing things the way they wanted you to. It would be, like, a kind of puzzle-esque, you know? Figuring out how to fit everything to maximize your reward in the space that you're given. But, nah. Vote on RE4. You got it, man. I'm excited for Resident Evil 4. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we completely missed. We have to go back. We're murdering everything. Anyways, I'm still very skeptical about RE4, to be honest. But since you've told me that the PC version has better controls, and I've started considering playing the PC version instead... I've been a little bit more excited for it, because that's my biggest thing about RE4, right? My biggest thing is that the PS2 copy just handles like ass. <laughs> that's my number one complaint. And then after that, my second complaint is that it feels less of a survival game than the other ones do, and more like an action game, which is like, I enjoy action games. So like, it's not necessarily a bad thing on its own. It's just... I don't play Resident Evil games for action. I, I played Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 for the survival horror aspect of it, you know? Even though they got more action-y as time went on, too, I still wouldn't call those ones action games. It's absolutely an action game? Yeah. <laughs> See, I mean, that's... I'm not surprised to hear that. Said so it feels a lot more action-y than any other Resident Evil game I've played. I think... From what I've seen, it gets worse, though, doesn't it? Like, isn't... Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't, like, 5 and 6 both very action-y as well? I thought after 6, starting with either 7 or 8, they started going back to more survival horror-esque stuff. I thought, but 
again, haven't played them, so I'm just talking out my ass based off of things I've seen online or friends talk about or whatever. Oh my god. Five and six are ultra violence? Yeah. Which one is it that has like the the freaking ending where you're you're fighting Oh, what's his name from the first game? Wesker? With the, the bazooka and there's like lava and shit all over the place. <laughs> like I can't <laughs> I remember seeing like a friend playing the game way back in the day. Six? Okay. <laughs> and he was on that set part of it, and I was like, this this doesn't look like Resident Evil to me, man. This, <laughs> this looks like some wild shit. I don't know. See, I'm a little iffy about that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But, uh, no, I'm still excited for it. As long as the PC copy runs well and, and handles well. I'm excited to give it a try. If nothing else, then because I want to play 7, 8 in the remakes. Because I've heard nothing but good things about the remakes, and then 7 and 8 are also... From from what I've talked to people about, sound really good. Handles a little better and has much better models. See, I don't care that much about how the game looks so much, you know? I guess that happens whenever you spend the majority of your time playing retro games. <laughs> I stopped caring so much about graphics. Obviously, I do really appreciate, you know, like, Final Fantasy 16, how pretty everything is, or or Ratchet and Clank, uh, drift, a, rift, rift Apart. Like, obviously, I appreciate all the work that went into those games and how good they do look. It's just not a necessity for me. Like, this game here, you know, it's 90% brown right now. It's fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't mind. PS2 zombies don't have noses because polygons. That's actually really funny. That's a really cool hack, man. Save a handful of uh, handful of polygons per creature just by getting rid of their nose. Well, nose is, I guess. And it makes sense, like from a lore standpoint too, right? They're zombies. They don't need noses. Like, <laughs> what does a zombie need a nose for, anyways? It's fine. Nah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put on my hoodie. Like my AC is on. It's pretty much always on, but I have it set to like 68 or something, but it feels a little chilly in here. I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't know, is it cold outside? It's more than 68 outside. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, but I have a hoodie right here. Oh, maybe get a drink of my tea real quick too, cause you know. Your room's set to 78? The fuck is wrong with you? Jesus Christ, I, I couldn't survive, man. From like a utility point of view, um, that's that's good, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like assuming that you live in a hot area and you need to cool it down, uh, not the other way around. But nope. Also, sorry. Hello, welcome. Uh, <laughs> don't mind me. I just I can't, man. 78 is oof. that's like on the edge of too hot for me. <laughs> like too hot to exist. You live in the desert, so it works. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. If I lived in like a hot, hot area, then I'm sure, you know, 70, 80 degrees would feel pretty decent. Again, not to mention the fact that like utility cost wise, having it set a bit higher like that would be really good. But for me, nah, I like, <laughs> when I sleep, I set the, the AC to 61. Like, <laughs> 100% man 61 that's as far down as my air conditioner will go if it went lower I'd probably set it lower 78 is too cold when it's 120 outside I can imagine that'd be a bit of a shock right I I think the hottest temperatures I've ever experienced has been like 106 107 something like that I'm with chocobo I would cook alive at 120 <laughs> there's oof uh we all do, you just AC off. <laughs> Leave a store, run to the next one. <laughs> Get in more of that AC. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that sounds very unpleasant. At least it's probably a dry heat, right? So your body can sweat off some of the excess heat. And that's the one thing I hate about where I live. It generally doesn't get, like, super hot. Um, But it's generally a very 
humid heat whenever it does get hot. So then the sweat just sticks to your body and it's like impossible to cool down without being in front of a fan or an AC or something like that. And it's like, yeah, you don't smell because the sweat is gone in seconds. Yeah, see bonuses, right? I think I would rather stink than live in a 120 degree area, but like, oof. <laughs> Still, how am I liking Dark Cloud 1? I'm really enjoying it. I just feel like it's gone on too long. We've been playing... I can't check from here for 20 some hours and after a bit the game just gets very samey um which is which is too bad if i wasn't playing it for like stream reasons if i was playing it on my own and i could just have like you know youtube or netflix or something on in the background kind of mindlessly playing through half of the game 80 percent of the game i think i'd probably enjoy it a bit more that way Either way, I am still enjoying myself, don't get me wrong, it's just like, yeah. The game feels like a, a bit much without enough variety. But other than that, very good. <laughs> very good. 80 hour playthrough? Oof, were you doing like completion type stuff or something? Because I think the game only generally takes, what, like 20 to 30 hours to com not to complete but to finish? Gaga, can I ask you something? I'm listening. You're a warrior. What does a warrior fight for? I made an oath to fight for Makala, but I failed to save Makala. Makala and Gaga, is she the one you care for? Makala is my fiance. I loved her. She dead? <laughs> she disappeared with the village. Oh, I see. So that's why you were so down. But let me tell you, I assure you, Makala is alive. You real, bro? Probably. <laughs> Look, a shooting star! Let's go! Lucky Cookie Zucchini? The, what? This dude was weird, bro. So I assume Ungaga is gonna, like, join up with us whenever we... Ooh. Dark Cloud 2! Let's go! Chocobo yeah. Just I'm excited to play more Dark Cloud 2. Because the little bit that we played of it, it seemed like basically Dark Cloud, but more wild. <laughs> I don't think we ever got to any of the city building <coughs> aspects or anything. Is there city building aspects in Dark Cloud 2? Uh, anyways, the girl I work with downloaded Stardew Valley on her Switch because she was asking about your cookbook. Oh, she can't wait until she's done with work to go play more. It's, it's an amazing game. That's why, dude. Freaking love me some Stardew Valley. Honestly, like, I mean, we're playing Pioneers of Olive Town right now, um, which, by the way, I mentioned it before, but for anybody who wasn't here, we are going to start going back to at least one night a week playing the PS2 games, um, both because, one, I've bought way too many PS2 games recently, and two, I just miss playing them a bit. I'm not going to stop playing Pioneers of Olive Town until it's done, though, uh, but I, yeah, no, I, I want to get back into some of the PS2 stuff. Anyways, I got sidetracked. What I was saying, <laughs> we're playing through Pioneers of Olive Town, but I kind of wish I would have just did Stardew Valley instead, even though I've put in well over 100 hours of Stardew Valley. I just, I freaking love Stardew Valley, man. It's su such a good cozy farming life sim game. There's a minimum dungeon run, so you beat the whole game in only 17 entries. Ooh, okay. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, I forget what I was watching. I was watching something the other day about like speed running and minimum percent um, runs and things like that. And I'm probably going to screw up the quote. I don't even remember who the quote came from exactly. But it was basically like there's two types of minimum percent runs. There's any percent that you make tiny changes to to save yourself a percentage. And then there's the one where you have to go 30 hours out of your way to save that one percentage point. And it's like... That sounds like the type you have to go 30 hours out of your way to save that one percentage point, and that's just rough. Dark Cloud 2 feels more like a simple house maker than Town Builder? Mmm. Okay. I think I just need to experience more of it for myself to really have an opinion whether that's a good thing or not. Like, I don't know. Wanna check out Stardew Valley for the fishing? That is such, like, a, a 
hot topic in Stardew Valley, right? Whether it's any good or not. <laughs> Personally, I love the fishing mini games, or fishing mini game in Stardew Valley. Um, but so many people just hate it. I mean, one of the top mods for what happened to our magic there? What are we hitting? Is there like an invisible barrier here? Oh, okay, we're a little stuck. Anyways, uh, oh, that also took over half of our health, so we should probably heal just in case. Uh, I forget what I was saying, though. Oh, yeah, no, there's so many people that absolutely hate the, the fishing in Stardew Valley. One of the top mods for the game is just there to get rid of the fishing minigame. And, uh, but personally, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Invisible connector? That's my guess as well. It's just weird that, like... The, the magic connects with it, but the the player character, NPCs, etc. don't. That's what I found weird about it. Please don't be a king mimic. Okay. We picked large last time and got a dagger, so we'll pick small this time and see if we get... I don't know what that was. Customize... Speed three. I mean, that's not bad, but not what we're looking for right now. I really want to get super speed. I'm the 30 hours guy who ignores the guy shouting about another 100 hour percent to save. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't think I could ever do a low percent run on those types of games where you have to go... Just insane amount of uh out of your way to save that one two percent do you want to know how the loot is split by box from what i've read online um generally speaking you should just swap back and forth between the two so like if you pick big box and you get the good reward the next time pick small box and then big and then small and then keep going back and forth if that's wrong, feel free to correct. That's what I discovered in, like, my five minutes of Googling one day, though, whenever that dude first popped up, and I was like, what the hell is this Jester thing that just appeared in my game? Because I played, like, two or three streams worth of the game and had never seen one of those before. And then I was playing offline one day, and uh, suddenly, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> that thing just started popping up, and I was super confused. Uh, do we have anything? Do we have any holy? We do. We have thunder. We don't have anything else really worth giving you, though. No mage. No night dudes. No undead. Okay. You've experienced that yourself for like 20 years in DC too, so you've been playing for a long time then. <laughs> I remember hearing of the Dark Cloud games when I was younger. Never ended up playing them really though. I think I might have rented probably Dark Cloud 1 at some point and played like a tiny bit of it, but I never got very far at all when I was younger. So really my experience with uh, the Dark Cloud games just started relatively recently the first time i played dark cloud one was probably within the past year and then it was just like a month or two ago that we started actually trying to like play through the game after you start recording and testing out reset seeds you notice there's more of a pattern than just flip-flopping okay i'm listening Yeah, if you have some sort of insider knowledge on how it works, I'm more than... Increased. Okay. <laughs> I'm more than happy to, to, to hear it. Because, yeah, like I said, I was just going off of, like, five minutes of Googling, and I was like, ah, oh, that's, that's more info about it than I had before, so... What was I doing? Oh, switching. To you. Open the dude. Get a good reward from one box. Try the other. If it's bad, stay with the one good box. Oh, okay, okay. 
So what you're saying is since my good reward was in the big box and then I flip-flopped and got a bad reward, go back to the big box and then just stay with that one, basically? So your theory is kind of there's like two types of seeds. There's a seed where the good reward is always in the same box and then there's a seed where the good reward flip-flops back and forth. thirsty. That's probably what I went into the menu for. Uh, sure. Drink premium water. That's not how you <laughs> drink. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, whatever. We'll drink the cheaper water since. I don't know what that sound was, but I'm guessing some sort of messed up car. Um, anyways. <laughs> Bro. Die, please. Thank you. Oh, you're like... Okay, we're alive. I'd like a little bit of space between us before you blow up, mister. Thank you. And Chesty Boy. I don't even know what I want from chests right now. I guess, I mean, repair powder's always nice. Mm. Honestly, it's just the attribute increasing items. That's like the only thing I'm really wanting from chests. So that we can try and... max out our upgrades. Dungeons appear to determine one of the seeds when you enter the dungeon, so as long as you're on the same enter, the base RNG should stay the same through the levels. Okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. So every time you leave the dungeon entirely and come back, it changes. But if you just keep going from floor to floor to floor, it seems to stay the same. I have tried fishing in this game, and I decided that it's probably not something I'm going to do. If if I was playing off stream, I would give it more of a chance. But on stream, I just don't think it's really worth it to me. Uh, what were we doing? Customize? No, no, no. Attribute. Put it back on holy. I don't know if holy's the best thing for this area. Probably not. But it's the biggest number. So, like, fishing breaks this game. I did see, like, there's a cool looking weapon that you can get from fishing and I think you can get can't you get some of the attribute increasing items using fishing points as well um but basically I just I don't know I need to look more into how it works oh dick um <laughs> I basically I need to look more into how it works because whenever I tried it it's just I don't even think I got a bite at any point. And, like, I looked up a quick guide to make sure that I wasn't doing it wrong, and I don't think I was. I was using a bait that could catch fish for the area that I was in. I was in No Rune Village, the very beginning of the game. Uh, basically, like, as soon as I got a fishing rod. And, yeah, never even seemed to, like, catch a... to get a bite, even. Um, so I just wasn't sure what to do. I don't know if I wasn't being patient enough or if I needed to be like cast more into a better spot like right in front of a fish or something I don't know I just need to like watch a video of it or something I think but either way grinding away with that I just didn't think was a uh, great idea for stream specifically so I kind of gave up on it if I ever decide to return to the game it's something I'll probably try because generally speaking I do really enjoy fishing in games but yeah four different fish and the baits do matter but proximity to pond edge is important see that's the other one I knew the fact that there's different fish and the baits matter but I had no idea that prox on ah that proximity mattered that's brand new info to me was there any reason I didn't want to stay in the dungeon right now I don't think so we have at least one piece of food left. Um, we have plenty of water. Good bit of repair powder. I think we're good. We go down. Next floor. Uh, I guess we could have built up the village a little bit since we did get some Atla, but oh well. It's fine. The village isn't going anywhere. That's not your back? Okay. 
I fall on this bird? The only fish plays just that matter, honestly. Do you get like the most points for the fish that you catch from those areas or something? Uh, I don't have a treasure chest key. Explosion. Ooh, uh, it's another platinum ring, which I think is what we had before, right? Yeah. I mean, that's not a bad thing. The platinum ring's not a bad weapon, it doesn't seem like, but... Does it have the same? Is it ice? Yeah, okay. I didn't know, like, if it would change from item to item. Um... The problem, I don't think it helps us with our goal of getting super steep at all. I mean, it has a bunch of MP, which... Hopefully this one will give us enough MP. <laughs> Whenever we, we absorb it into Steve. But if not, then I guess we could use a Platinum Ring to get more MP. No, no, not at all, man. Go into as much detail as you like. Honestly, I'm not like... I don't get super butthurt about mechanic spoilers or anything like that. I just don't want story spoilers. And then... Feel free to, like, give advice and things like that. It's just... Don't get butthurt if I decide I don't want to do it, <laughs> you know? That's my only thing. Doesn't happen too often, but like, I'm not super against backseating or anything like that as long as people aren't ridiculous about it. I have a fish that can appear called the Martin... Uh, <laughs> nope, not even gonna try. And it's on average worth about 200 points? I'm trying to remember how much that one weapon that you can only get from fishing costs wasn't that like a thousand something like 1500 so 200 would be pretty good two to five percent chance to spawn as a single fish and muska it can be any of the fish can you tell which fish it is by just looking in the pond like based off of the shadows in the pond or something like that so i'm just thinking like would it actually be better to do the two to five percent single fish chance if it can be just the single one that's assuming that you can actually see it though like tell which one's which i guess if it's chosen to spawn then there's a 20 percent chance for it to be on average it's worth about 600 oh okay what did i come in here for more water uh drink the premium water now that's fine get all the thirst dealt with. Oh, oh, no. Okay, that was rude. Mm. Yeah, go ahead and eat the food. I don't know if we have a spring or whatever you want to call it anywhere on this floor. Use gooey peaches to test to see if the fish bites. If it does, you don't want it. Ah, nice. Okay. That's smart though. <laughs> like use the use the bait that it doesn't that doesn't catch it to see if it is or not. How do you reset? Do you just like reload the area? Do I want you? Sure. Status changed again. I still don't understand what that means. Yeah, I have no idea what the status thing means, but whatever. Because it doesn't change, like, the actual weapon that's equipped. Status? Is it the health? Or not the health, but the, the weapon? Yeah, I guess it is weapon HP. No. It shuffles all the stats on the last screen, maybe? Maybe? Sadly, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, like, I know that it had Mage Slayer, and I know that it had the Undead uh, Killer thing, but I don't remember, like, which value was which, though. I do think maybe Mage Slayer was 10 and the Undead one was 6, though. So maybe that is what it does. Good to know, I guess. That could really suck if you're trying to, like, grind out a specific... Like, again, to get Super Steve, I'm trying to get Mage Slayer, um, Undead Killer, and, and whatever the Night one is. 
So like if I had Mage Slayer up to 40 on this thing, and then suddenly that went to the fish or whatever, like that would really suck. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm getting lost. Here we go. You. Three sisters house. Fish change each time you quit slash fish. Oh, okay. If you believe in RNG Jesus and resets, you can get thousands of fishing points in an hour. That's crazy, man. Spent almost 100 hours looking. Yeah, I got super lucky. I didn't know, like, he was that good um, whenever I got him. But then I, I was looking at a, a small guide. I try not to look up too many spoilers, but I had no idea how the weapons work in this game and the upgrades and everything. So I just looked up a list of the weapons and what they turn into. And I saw that Steve just went right from Steve to Super Steve. And I was like... Dope, okay, so that's really easy to get to the end of the line. I'll start screwing around with that one, and then I very quickly realized that Steve seems like he's a much, much better weapon than all of the other ones that I was getting for Zhao here. So I made it my goal to start leveling up Super Steve to try to upgrade him to Super Steve, or yeah, whatever, words, to try to upgrade Steve to Super Steve. So that's, uh, that's what I've been working on doing as I play through the game. I'm just hoping that I can get it upgraded before the before the end of the game, but we'll see. Yeah, I got it. It was like the second or third weapon that I got for Zhao, I think, was Super Steve. It was super early on. <laughs> so like, I just I just got super lucky. Steve is basically viable until the very end of the game. What's wild is there's actually an even stronger slingshot available in the Divine Beast Cave. It defines speed runs. Wait, which one? Which one's that? That's like super broken. I've noticed Steve is really good. Like Steve is my number one weapon period, I'm pretty sure right now. Now granted, Steve I've upgraded many times compared to the other weapons. But like, yeah, the bandit slingshot? Wait. The one that gives you steel? Is that one really good? So I might have, uh... <laughs> I might have gave the bandit slingshot to Steve. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't know it was good. <laughs> um... I just... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I guess that might be why Steve is so good. Uh, Steve starts with, oh yeah, 100% then. <laughs> that's probably why. Because um, yeah, once I got to the point, I was using the Bandits one a lot because of the steal ability. But then once I got to the point that I could turn it into a Synx Sphere, or whatever, Synx Sphere, um, I was like, I wonder if like the special attributes move over with it. And Steve was the the to me coolest seeming weapon that I had so I was like you know what I'll see if I can add steel to Steve here and uh surely enough yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> oh <laughs> oh well oh wait wrong character guess that's what you get for knowing nothing about a game huh <laughs> now what about like upgrades though like is super Steve better than whatever the bandit slingshot turns into or is it just because the bandit starts with so much attack that it, it's like super good plus the the steel ability is obviously really nice i also got i don't know how like rare it is or anything but i also got big bucks hammer which i feel like is a pretty cool thing like being able to get it's what extra money from kills or whatever The opposite is knowing how rare everything is and not finding it true. True, yeah. I guess I would rather be uh, ignorant and getting all the cool stuff than like <laughs> knowing about it and never finding it. Yeah, I feel like the Big Bucks Hammer is the second coolest weapon, but, but Goro is like my least favorite character too, so <laughs> I don't really mess with it very much. 
Oh. Sick. Okay. I don't know how close it was to being full already. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We still need to put one more. Oh, hey, we picked up a holy. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. So let's go ahead and upgrade you now to level five, which means that we can sense fear you or status break, whatever. I'm really liking this weapon, but I got to give it to Steve, man. Yeah, that 41 holy and all that MP. Those are both things we need on Steve. Goodbye. And then... Oh, I could have done it from there. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Back to you. Weapon. Not the steel slingshot. Steve. Oh, we don't have stuff to put in your other slots, though. But is this going to max? Oh, dude, we only needed, like, four more MP. That feels like such a waste now. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was going to max out at 30. That's crazy. It puts our, our holy up a lot, though. Gives us more thunder, which is another thing that we needed. And it gives us a little bit more of the mage slayer and undead. Whatever. So I think it's still not terrible. Just kind of like MP was the main thing I was doing this for. And it's just kind of blah. Gotta go check the mail for something. You'll be back maybe a bit since you live on a dirt road. No, yeah, no problem, man. We'll be here for like an hour and a half, so. That's true. That's very true. There is always going to be wasted stats. Uh, in the meantime, though, to make leveling up the steel slingshot here easier... We'll go ahead and pop you on there for now. I just have to remember when I do the upgrade not to throw it on there. Because I don't want to lose more of these stats than I absolutely have to. But for now, it can go on there, and then the steel slingshot will be much easier to level up. Without, like, swapping weapons and basically using cheese. There way. Hoping for some sort of shop. That's what I really want to find here. Uh, it's still not doing a ton of damage. What kind of attribute do you have equipped? None. Okay, we'll put some holy on there. It's better than nothing. Yeah, already doing much more damage. Good stuff. Stop guarding, you bastard. There we go, one down. And the bomb. I wonder if like fire would work better against him because bomb can like light his fuse or something. I guess the only thing that kind of sucks about using the steel slingshot is how little endurance we have with it. Which means more repair powder. Granted, repair powder is pretty cheap at this point in the game. It's not that big of a deal. It's always just a little annoying to have to run back in town to get it. More hay. Okay. Hmm. It's what it is. Back to Zhao. Oh, the freaking Mr. Blairs. The enemies on this dungeon I was actually kind of enjoying. They weren't nearly as annoying as a lot of the other ones until Mr. Blair here showed up. I mean, the golems were a bit annoying just because of their, like, big hammer attack. But that had more to do with trying to use Goro than the actual enemy themselves being annoying. And then, like, sure, the bombs blow up. I guess that's a thing, too, but... They're not that bad. I mean, they also guard, but I feel like their guard isn't nearly as... Or they don't guard as much, I feel like, as Mr. Blair does. The bomber head. Deaded, deaded. And we got a bomb from the bomb. Nice. Uh, bum, bum, bum. We need you, please. Open... 
Tara. Was that? Was that? Oh boy, I forget his name already. Ngaga? Was that his 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 fiance? Is that the girl we were we were looking for? I'm assuming after this floor we'll be able to get him unlocked. That's what it's seeming like at least. More trees. I mean that'll be nice to have some more trees in the desert, provide some shade, cool down the environment a bit. Uh, I, I like how they did the roads for this area too. Wait a second. Okay. I couldn't see the way down. I was like, hold on, I've explored the entire dungeon and there's no staircase down. What the hell did I miss? It's just, it's right there. <laughs> just, I'm just a little bit blind. It's a little hard to see with the like yellow on the brown background. We will go ahead and leave after this floor. Because uh, food and also repairing the town a bit I think is a good idea. Okay. Still just going to put stuff down randomly, I think. <laughs> Can always rearrange the town more later if we decide that it's worth it, but it's just... Mm, I don't know. I cared at first, but I care a lot less now. Uh, your house is complete. Congrats. Three sisters' house. Can go here. And then... Eldest sister, middle child, the youngest sister, okay, there we go. So that's all three sisters, we need to talk to them to figure out what they want. Brooke's house. Uh, do we leave a space? Sure, we'll leave a space. You need a head. Hey, which we don't have, and Brooke, you. So we'll talk to you in a moment. In the prisoner cabin, I feel like the prisoners should go, I don't know, on the other side here. You need a mini totem, some stairs. I'm assuming some sort of like sheriff or warden or something, which we don't have. Ooh, an oasis? Is this the... I wonder if this is the fishing spot for this area. Um, here, you can go in this bottom corner over here. Wherever it's possible to put you at. There. And all you need is three trees. Which we do have. Nice. Oh, those were... Okay. That was the oh, that's not. Darn it! Okay, give me this road back. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was a tree, not a road. I guess because I was talking about trees. Uh, you can go here, <laughs> just randomly. That looks beautiful. Perfect. Then, didn't somebody need hay and I didn't think we have it? Yeah, Brooke. You needed it. There you go. Let's go do this event and then talk to all these other people. And, oh. Time change? Nope. Event. Is an outside event. Why? I don't understand. But why? Why? Why are you yelling? Oh. Hi there. Looking at my house returned to normal, I just felt like screaming. Say, why don't you come in? <laughs> Bro, you got issues. I really appreciate this. Thanks to you, now I can live my ordinary life again. This is to show my gratitude. Hey, Fruit of Eden. Thanks, man. By the way, have you noticed something seems wrong here? The aesthetic sense they have here in Muskalaka is not very good. That Ungaga is regarded as handsome and desirable. And I'm regarded as plain looking. Shouldn't they take a better look at me? I mean, come on. 
What is the definition of beauty anyway? Does such a thing really exist? No, because it's derived from people's personal views. Therefore, the one who is seen as beautiful by more people is beautiful. But wait, that means I am plain looking after all. No, that can't be. <laughs> That's not what I expected whenever we brought this guy back to life. I, I did not expect him to be obsessed with his looks. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, I saw you had some chests around your house, though. You won't mind if I just steal those real quick. Dino Slayer? Not exactly what I was hoping for. Antidote Amulet? Nope. You definitely had one or two in your house, though, too. Is there one? I thought there was one, like, hiding behind those pots, but I guess not. Cheese! That's food. I mean, food is another thing that we're needing, so another fruit of Eden. Whenever we finally unlock Ungaga, that, would be, that will be nice. Freaking day shift. Or time a day shift. I'm so lost, okay. Ice? Nope. Undead Buster! That's a good one. That's one that we need. Hello, the eldest sister. I did not mean to say hello. Uh, what do you need for your home? I'm gonna need my dress in my odds and ends case that I always place on top of the roof. Don't forget that. All right, we do have that. We can give that to you. Oh, there's a chest over there at the like very start of town too. I have to try to remember to pick it up. Are your sisters inside by any chance so I can talk to them, see what they need? Jeez. What do you need for your home? Please keep the tradition of the pole guardian. I don't want to have anything bad happen to us. Okay. Mage Slayer? Gourd? That's another useful one. Hey, little boy. Hiya. Uh, what do you need? A cabin. Okay. We might have all three of those. We have the odds and ends. I'm assuming they just want a mini totem. And then the cabin. I'm pretty sure we have an extra cabin. Yeah. Sick. Okay. You and for you. Awesome. Now watch us not even be able to like do the event because time of day or something. <laughs> nah, it looks good, thankfully. Oh, stream, welcome. Wow, pretty sharp kid. Come to collect his reward already. Sorry, can't help you. Should I give you some candy, dear? What was our... We didn't ask, like, what they would give us. Stream didn't come here for that. Don't be mean. Oh, did you hear that? Here we go again. Makara's got this bad habit of vilifying people. I didn't mean it that way. I... Stop it, both of you. You two are always fighting lately. Makara, you're alive! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was her. Let's go, dude. Uh-oh, not this guy again. Wait. <laughs> Aren't they, like... Okay, so the sister just doesn't like him. I was like, wait, do none of these people like him? I thought they were engaged he's not here no mushy stuff gaga you tell me why makara i'm better at everything than makara so why not me makara 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 always makara tell me why is that there are things makara does better than you nikita so she's who i want to be with okay fine then let me ask you something what does makara do better than me exactly okay i'll tell you all it was a year ago. I was stung by a scorpion. Did she nurse him back to health? Oh god, I was so worried that the game, like, crashed there. So I'm finished a scorpion sting. I will die. The village's greatest warrior taken out by a scorpion. Time stay. Don't want to die like this. Call the doctor. Stay here. Mr. Ungaga? Mr. Ungaga? Oh. So she saved him, basically. <laughs> Just... 
slapped him across the face. <laughs> Silly, you're the strongest warrior in the desert. Who will protect Muskalaka when you're gone? Scorpion's venom. Nothing can be done. I am dying. <laughs> Slap him again. He needs it. We need you here, and I need you too. What are you doing? Don't do that, Makari. You'll kill yourself. Stop. So she's sucking out the venom. Basically. That, that's more or less what I had assumed. <laughs> but also, I think the bitch slap might have had something to do with it. I, th I think maybe he just likes it a little rough sometimes. And just, that's just my guess. She sucked the poison from me and she became infected. Makari was dying and fought for three days. Makari risked her life to save me. If it weren't for Makari, I probably wouldn't be here. Really? So that's what happened? Makari's incredible courage. No one can match it. Not even me. I fell in love. Now I see. So that's why Makara was lying there too when I brought the doctor to you. Makara probably asked him Gaga not to say anything about it. Well, I guess Makara admitted. I could never have acted as bravely as you did. You are the one for Ungaga. Gaga. There's really no room for me between you two. Take me with you and we'll beat the evil wizard. I understand now what Theo was trying to say. I forgot this. Real strength doesn't come from your fists. It came from comes from your heart. Theo and Makara helped me remember that. And Gaga will try once more to become the strongest warrior. So there's our new dude. Okay. So now we need to go get like all of our fruits of Eden and stuff to give him. Uh, oh, well, once he actually catches up with us, I guess. Unless it's instant, like as soon as the cutscene's over, maybe. Can help overhearing. Gaga is back to normal. I really wanted Gaga to get back to his own self again. I'm really glad. Me too. Talk too much, it may be hard for me to go back to the village. The end of my mission here, I'm sure Ngaga will be a great help on your quest. So long. Goodbye, weird little moon person. <laughs> I almost forgot. To enter the last chamber where the moon ship is kept, you keep you need both the sun signet, which is kept by sand warriors, and the moon signet, which we moon people control. I believe that the sun signet has been handed down for years to village chiefs. The problem is the moon signet, which was supposed to be kept by us, Nem doesn't like little hassles, so he left it with the sand warriors so they could manage the entire temple. Oh, but please don't blame Nem. Managing a tomb is hard work. Anyways, both of them are kept by the people of this village. Remember now, you need both signet center the last chamber. So, I guess this is all I have to say. Make sure you beat that wimpy genie. Okay. We'll do our best. We'll try to murder him see how it works out is he why did i go to weapon ally is he with us now he is let's go okay um item because i know we got some fruits of eden stuff already and gaga oh you start at 110 health okay well you can still have a couple trying to keep everybody more or less even you definitely need some gourds His defense starts relatively high, too. 30... Man, we're really low on Gore. Gore has, like, no defense at all. 26 attack versus Ungaga's 35. I mean, that comes down a lot to the weapon, too, but still. Ugh. No wonder I dislike Goro so much. <laughs> we can sell a bunch of this crap once we get a shop. Um, We added a cabin. That could be another place where chests are hiding in here. Nothing? Nothing. Hiding behind any of this stuff? Nope. Okay. It's worth checking. You never know. We already got a couple of useful things from the town. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You, you're the next house, right? You have a gourd. Okay. I'll give that to Ngaga. If we get enough gourds, we won't have to go back to town even. To, to no rune to collect our stuff. Premium chicken? That's more food. Another fruit of Eden? Board for Gaga and food. 
Eden, trying to get you up to everybody else. That's Gord. Less trips is always good, yes. <laughs> it saves time, which is much appreciated. I don't see anything else in here. Where's the person that lives here? Where are they hiding at? Oh. Elgato. That's cute. Also, welcome back. Did you happen to come in your house when the time changed? No. Okay. <laughs> well. Where, oh, where could he be? Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Brooke. Nice to meet you. Uh, I can tell easily where I'm from. Have you met somebody from No Room before? And you want a storage cabin. Which I do have. So that's another event. And we don't have the thing for you yet, so we just don't need the sign right now, like at all. Gonna do Simba, but that's the Fairy King's name, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I mean, sure. There you are. Today I have something I want to tell you. Come over here. When I first saw you, I knew right away who you were. You were the son of the warrior Ago? Aga. Aga once came to Muskalaka. When I first saw him, I sensed something special in him. Aga was an amazing man. Something about him drew everyone to his side, just like you now. I guess that's how he knows where we're from. He fought well, especially with swords. He told me he was making a journey to find an amazing treasure. I don't know if he found it or not, but when he visited here again, he left the golem Gosuke here. He's, you said you were on a quest to defeat the Dark Genie? Your father left you a tip for defeating him. I think Aga knew this day would come. The entire purpose of his journey could have been for exactly that. I really believe that's true. I have faith in you. You can do it. I really do believe you can defeat the Dark Genie. So here, take this. Is it one of the signets? Oh no, it's an attack plus three, which... Not gonna say no to. I do have a stock of some items here, not much though. Take them on your adventure. Oh, but I have to charge you for them. I have to earn a living, you know. Take care, so long. Let's go! I was hoping for a shop here somewhere. What kind of stuff do you carry? Uh, can I buy some stuff? You sell. What is this? Fish bait, potato cake. Sell some food, some premium water. Wind, stone, sky. Sadly, nothing that helps me with Super Steve. I can sell you some of these amulets, though. I never use them anyways. Go ahead and sell you the fish bait for now, because I have no idea when I'll be fishing. If you ever fish, just be ready to close the fishing screen five to ten times in between bait tests. He sells the bear... Ah! So that's the uh, the the potato cake, then. I'm assuming would be the, the bear and bait. I've just been selling all my fish bait because it's worth like so much money. <laughs> it's like one of the the best money items. It seems like they're they're all worth a decent chunk. I still have five repair powders. Um, keeping the bombs is like boss killing items. I have enough money. I can sell the soap. Uh, da -da -da -da. Buy some chicken. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a full stack of chicken for us. I think that's probably all we need. Very quickly figure out what size of fish is worth testing with the gooey peach. It's very good info to have. If I do any like more grinding off stream or anything like that, I'll probably end up messing around with the fishing again. But uh, I don't know when or if I'm going to, to be honest with you. At this point, my main focus is just Super Steve and getting to the end of the game. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to have enough money left over to buy some gold, but the food was more important. Okay, I think we're done in here then. I just have to try not to die. Um, let's clean up my inventory real quick before I forget. Take all this food. Get it all stacked in there. It's weird that cheese doesn't go to the top with the water and the other food. Oh well, not that big of a deal. 
just odd to me. All right, and then we have more than enough inventory space. I don't feel like we need to worry about going back to one of the storage characters. So is this Ungaga's hut? Because fish truly do break the game. Each bait is roughly a mage slayer. Every poisonous apple is two gems and a potato cake is five gems. I can see how that's really good. Because <laughs> not only are those items a bit expensive, but they also seem somewhat rare to get from like chests and things like that. Uh, no. Items. That's what I wanted. Gourd. Another gourd for Ungaga. I think he still needs one more to be on par with everybody else. Yeah, one more to be on par with everybody else. But one, we might end up finding one here somewhere. And two, being one short's not worth the whole extra trip for me. Just figuring the fish out and then sitting there. That's awful. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the, the conclusion that I came to. Is It just seemed like it's super grindy. To the point that I just wasn't sure if it was really worth it. Um, but I don't know. C D U. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. We can get it from here. I thought that chest was inaccessible to us. The magic of having people that know these things already, man. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> it certainly makes things go a lot quicker. Uh, I'm a little lost here. We'll just do it this way. Okay, so that's the cabin. Where did I put the oasis? Here it is. So yeah, I saw this dude over here. Another fruit of Eden. We might be able to give everybody another HP upgrade. Mighty healing? That's just, what, one of the syringes? Yeah. It's everything here, I think. No more hiding behind these bushes. Wood. And then there was one more chest hiding right here. Witch parfait. That's what Ruby's favorite food. Yes. It's more defense for Ruby. Another by the opposite side. Not yet. I wouldn't be surprised if one unlocks eventually. But I think, again, from like the five minutes of googling that I did about the game, I think it's based on how many floors you've finished in the dungeon, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if it unlocks eventually, but not yet. So Gaga can have another one. And then I guess maybe I'll give the girls one since they're only at 100. They don't get hit nearly as often, though. Uh, I'll just save it for now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just have to try to remember before we get to, like, the final boss of the game. To the end of the game. To just give all of that stuff to somebody, at least. That way it's not completely wasted sitting in either my inventory or one of the, the storage characters' houses. Another amulet. Alright. I'm assuming the next floor is going to end up being an Ungaga floor. Since we now have him unlocked. Kept Zhao at 60 until you were certain you could get everyone to an even amount. <laughs> she died so easy. Yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. Except, I, I before I realized how much better Zhao was because you could keep her like back away from, from everybody. I had her up to 100-ish. Roughly around there. And then... I was like, okay, I don't really need to give her anymore. So when I saw Ruby was a uh, also a ranged character, I decided to do the same thing with her, just get her up even with Zhao. And then all of the, the Fruits of Edens just went evenly to everybody else. Because, yeah, like... All of the characters that get up close and personal, man, they're just so much harder to keep alive. 
Well, it's either a boss or a special floor, one or the other. Oh, does that mean the last character is going to be a long distance one as well? That's pretty good news. I really enjoy the long distance characters. Goal, bro. Something's going on up there. Looks like some geek snuck in. <laughs> I want to go get him. <laughs> Take it easy, brother. Let's just have a talk with to settle this. Poor geek must have kind of, must have had a good reason to have come all the way here. Oh, you're so such a man. I can't read today. Hey, bro, do you speak that human's language? I have no choice. This is our destiny. Let's do it, brother. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. We're actually fighting them. Okay. Um. Well, let's switch to you. We might as well use all of the ammo. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> like, they're sentient. They don't seem evil. They're just like some kind of guardian for whatever area they're in here. And they're just like the basic... Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about checking to see what kind of cool stuff Steve would say in this fight. Wonder how much I could sell that guy for because he's made of gold. Don't scratch it. We'll get top dollar for that puppy. So it's all its all about the money. His name's Gold. Pretty cheap name, huh? <laughs> Brothers mean they are related by blood. What is going on? I mean, they could just be calling each other bros. Do you understand what they're talking about? I wonder why these are moving. Really? Hello? Alright, hold on. Let's go ahead and murder the dude. But I want the ABS on this weapon, so change real quick. We don't sell Golem Sufio. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this guy might fetch a high price, too. Oh, wait. Drink. There we go. Hmm. I don't know why this tea tastes extra good today. You know, I didn't even really think about that until you mentioned it and how messed up that is. <laughs> like, yeah, these are sentient beings. Like, <laughs> Names cheaper than his brothers. That reminds me, Zhao. Didn't you drop me yesterday? Is that how you feel that hurts? Steve. What their language is? Golemese? Golemish? Golemian? Yesterday I dreamt I was rich. With excitement at my new life course. Steve the Millionaire Slingshot. It's a feisty one. I don't like the those hot-headed tin cans. Pack them up and get out of here. How many voice... Or not voice lines, but... How many unique lines did they give Steve for these dudes? Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we're wrap back around. Gonna have to do a Steve-only playthrough now? Most of the, the enemies don't seem like they're... Their things are that interesting. I'm assuming because these are bosses, though, they spend a bunch of extra time on them. Black one bars the way. If it can be blown away, we could get through. Huh? Is that like a Noongaga thing? I haven't actually tried him at all yet. Does he... Maybe a strong wind will blow it. Aha, he has a fan attack. Wait, would it have been possible to not murder those dudes? <laughs> Could we have cleared the wind and then just like left? Oh well. It's too late now. The world will never know. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, most of the creatures we come across, it's just like, it's fairly generic and only a couple of lines. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you could just leave him alive, but but you never know, I guess, right? Due to a mysterious force on this floor, you get thirsty quicker. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, What are you like? Why did he flash, like, green? Hold on. I guess I didn't check this weapon at all. Does this weapon... Have anything f special? No. 
Eh, it's just a basic weapon. With a little bit of wind. Okay, interesting. Um, uh, well, let's switch out of it. <laughs> Gonna go get dinner, take care, and have a great rest of your stream. Thank you, man. Enjoy your dinner. Whatever you're having, I hope it's good. Thirst just reaches them. Man, they weren't kidding about the freaking thirst bar, huh? This is going quick, quick. Okay, go ahead and drink some more just basic water. And then since we're in this screen, we might as well go ahead and do the repair powder now, too. Switch on back to our bro here to open the Atla. Give us something good, man. Stairway roof. Mm. I was hoping more for like the character that's needed for the the prison or whatever it's called. But I guess that's fine too. Antiku amulet. Kappa cow, what's up, man? Welcome. It's not the secret path key, right? No, okay. I didn't think so. I guess we just can't get in there unless. Unless this is not another, like, character thing. I guess we did unlock Ungaga now. Is it... No, it's an item-based one. Okay. It's not an Ungaga thing. wonder... Must be some sort of key, then. I don't remember seeing any, like, special key items other than the tablet <clears throat> that lets us go down to the next floor, though. Nothing. Lame. Go back to him again. The farther we get in the game, the more annoying it is to have to constantly switch characters to do basic things like, like opening an Atla or clearing some weird black mist. It'd be much better if the game just automatically did it for us like switch the character and then just played an animation of him spinning it or whatever and then switch back or same for like opening the atla or whatever or just let anybody open the atla i really don't think that's that big of a deal the other ones are more like unique per character so i understand why like you would need zhao to jump across the the gap or why you would need umgaga to spin his thing to clear the black mist but honestly anybody could open the freaking atla man it's just a matter of having the thing on your wrist, right? Okay, we're definitely going to switch to Steve to take out this golem, because this dude got health. And look at that. That's <laughs> that's so much freaking better. Just remember to switch back quickly, get the ABS on you, and it's time for an upgrade. Let's go. I just realized something, though. We shouldn't be focusing on the steel slingshot. Take this off. Take this off, too. Because the steel slingshot has, like, nothing we need for Super Steve. I mean, it does have, like, five night points, but that's it. <laughs> like, a tiny bit of holy, a tiny bit of thunder because of the last upgrade that we did. We should probably actually be focusing on him with the steel hammer. Has more thunder, more hole, or the same amount of holy, and has ten of the night killer dudes. Oh, gross. <laughs> I don't like using this dude, but yep, I think that's what we actually need to do. I'll still go ahead and upgrade this one. Because we're probably going to want to eventually anyways. I'll give you a Mage Slayer and an Undead Buster just directly. We're keeping the Sin Sphere for whatever current weapon we're using for the nice big upgrade on it. And then you... You can have the Sin Sphere for now. We'll swap that out later. Okay. 
then I guess change characters. <sighs> I really don't want to be using him. I mean, his weapon should be much better now, having that synth sphere in there. But still. Oh, the stone key. That's probably what opens up that door. That makes a lot of sense. And we have definitely gotten a stone key before. I just forgot somehow. Ooh, some water. That should actually come in handy on this floor too, because the, the extra thirst is very real. We got a bee? A dune? Oh, that was rude. Bro, didn't even hit him. Come on. I hate Goro so much, man. I hate the melee characters in general so much. <laughs> they eat up so much, just... Mm. Oh, you know what? Hold on. You. Let's switch from the chicken first. Let's use up the cheese. Never mind, because I don't feel like... I don't feel like taking all of those out of our inventory. God, our attack's so slow! Maybe... Maybe we should be doing a charge attack. Yeah, there we go. We still got hit, though. Son of Alright, the dunes probably worth switching back to another character whenever we have to deal with one of the dunes. Because screw those guys, man. <laughs> Jesus. Here, eat some cheese. So you don't die instantly. Oh, and our thirst limit's reached. Okay, drink that crappy water that we got. I'm hoping for a spring here somewhere. Mm, so far, no luck, though. I thought we were going to get poison there. We got to be really careful with the charge attack. We have to leave at least, what, like 13 stamina or something if we're going to do a charge attack? Should probably do a little more than that just to be safe. Maybe don't do it if it's under 20. Getting thirsty already, dude. Water? Normally I don't want to pick up water, but oof. Uh, one thing we can do to save ourselves a bit. Keep swapping characters. Use up each person's thirst individually. Might as well. It's not like they're really doing us any good just sitting in the... I almost called it inventory. I guess it kind of is an inventory of sorts, right? A character inventory. So we might as well use up all their thirst. It'll just suck, I guess, if we, like, we have to switch to them for some reason, because then they're just going to start dying instantly. But oh well. Screw them. Stone key. Okay, your thirst is done. Ungaga? You have a little bit. And swap back to our boy here. Oh, thirst reached its limit. Imagine that. And we have a dune, so let's not deal with that with him, because annoying. We have two dunes, actually. I guess. Uh, or wait, no. Super Steve, or Steve actually needs some ABS, doesn't he? No. Oh. Wait, he's, not, he's sitting at max? I guess we just didn't want to upgrade him yet because we were wanting to use the Synth Sphere to help us level other things up. That's why. Oh, I'm so tempted to do it anyways, but no, we'll wait. We'll just have to do the weapon swap trick. To not waste the ABS. Thirst reach its limits. Surprise, surprise. Drink a big boy water. This one's full, too. Uh, here, just take normal stuff. Like, cheap stuff. I don't know. Give you... We're gonna get a bunch of holy from the other thing. So we probably won't need as much holy. So here, take two holies. Upgrade. Yes. There. 
Now, do we still get the ABS on that since we upgraded it in time? No, because we forgot to unequip Steve. <laughs> Oops. This time it should work, though. There we go. Oh, there's another creature here? Okay, it's a bomber head. We can swap back to the other dude. Oh, to you. We really need to get him more defense somehow. He be weak, man. That's annoying. Of course you would block everything. <laughs> Stop dodging! I don't have the thirst for this. The only thing he's got going for him is the fact that he has knockback. Wait, is the bomb going to hurt us when it blows up? I think it did. But he also punched us. So I don't know. It might have been the punch that actually hurt us. Not the... Lele attack Whatchamacallit. Just hydrate. Hydrate? You got it, dude. Drink, drink, drunk. Mm. Good tea. What else are we doing? Okay, no, we're fine. Chug? Why would I chug it? I don't need to chug it. It's just it's my tea. Then I'll be thirsty. I mean, I guess I have more tea, but like... <laughs> but I don't need to chug right now. Stretch? Alright, we'll stretch. Hold on. Naughty Before Alistair I forget, though. 96 just, just for you, Naughty stretch. Alistair. We'll stretch. Okay, Umgaga. Umgaga's fine. He has a little bit of thirst left. Uh, what time is it, anyways? 8.30? We getting there. We getting there. God. Man, it does feel good to stretch. Can't lie. You know what we should have did whenever we were last out of this dungeon? We should have healed. <laughs> or not healed, saved. What? Bruh. There is no, like, leave the dungeon to heal thing. Not that I know of. It would be nice if the game had, like, a, uh... Oh, words. Can you cross it? No. Okay. I don't know. He seems nimble. An in. That's the word I was trying to think of. Oof. Big oof, Nate. Come back to restart your gambling addiction and just instantly lose it all, boy. I mean, not that you don't have a trillion freaking points still, but... <laughs> Wait, we still hit him? Damn it, dude. Oh, okay, there's one down. Let's go. I didn't think that was going to work, honestly, but... And, yeah, we got hit by the explosion, though. Ooh, we killed that dude in one go. That's, that's sick. Okay. You're just losing all your points, aren't you, man? We are thirsting to death again, but this is like the end of the dungeon. So who has thirst left? You? You have a little bit left. Quickly collect these chests and then leave. We missed one enemy. Bruh. <laughs> How'd we miss an enemy in there? Mighty healing. Mighty healing is always nice. We're getting thirsty, but we're not dying yet. Another mighting healing. We don't get, like, status effects that often. That we really need, like... Whatchamacallit. That many mighty healing? I guess it's better to have them than not. Is it, what, dual accept? Oh. <laughs> How do you... Is it just exclamation mark? Do you just not... Are you, like, timed out from dueling? Do I not have enough money? Why? Exclamation mark duel? No, 
exclamation mark except I don't know man I don't know how to accept it I norm doesn't it normally like have a pop-up that tells you how to do it but that pop-up didn't pop so I feel like something something's broke you're probably tired out <laughs> me too dude I'm also tired out you know what I mean <laughs> now nah, you had it right the first time 100% man you tired out we all tired out I get it Bruh. Ah, oh, come on, just hit him. Just hit him. There we go. Get wrecked, loser. Alright, <laughs> let's get the hell off this floor now. Uh, I think Zhao's the only one with any thirst left. It would have been really handy to find a freaking watering hole in this level. These thirst levels suck, man. just eats through the resources so quickly. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. It probably wasn't worth it to go and kill that one extra dude, but it feels better, like, actually clearing, clearing. Uh, leave dungeon temporarily. I don't even want to, like, go build anything or anything like that. I just want to make a save, because it's been a long time like this entire stream since we've saved. It's what, two hours, a little over two hours worth of progress that I didn't want to give up. Is our thirst still empty empty? It is. I was kind of hoping like leaving would refill it, but I think I knew already that it didn't refill it when you left. I think it cures like poison, but that's pretty much it. If we're lucky, the next floor will have a watering hole, I guess. I don't put, like, hidden chests in these entryways and stuff, right? I don't think so. But as far as I know, there wouldn't be anything stopping them from doing something like that, so... I feel like I had to check at least. You never freaking know, man. Sometimes devs like to be assholes. Hey, a normal floor. Let's go. Or, well, a floor we can get Atla on, at least. I guess it could still be restricted in some way. Like, weapon ABS goes down instead of up, or you can't change weapons. Uh, who had thirst left? Somebody did. Was it Umgaga? You. You have a tiny bit left. Come on, give us a freaking watering hole, please. I'm gonna search the dungeon first, because how much water do we have left? Yeah, we only have three left, so I'm gonna search the dungeon first, see if we can't find a watering hole. And then if we can't, I'll... If we, I mean, whether we can or can't, I'll clear the dungeon, I guess. But I'll save, like, the actual water bottles that we have. But right there, there we go, dude. That saved us a lot of resources. And we just need to remember to switch through everybody. So everybody gets a heal and a water refill. This is a good place to use Goro to kill this dude, because, like... If we get hit once or twice, who cares? As long as we don't die, because we can just come back into here, get a heal, smack him. It's so annoying. Uh, game? Oh, I accidentally pressed R2. I thought the game was, like, broken, man. I didn't realize I even hit the R2 button. It's like, <laughs> I thought it glitched the hell out, like, hardcore. Get wrecked, Dune. Hey! Okay. We can upgrade our hammer. We need to remember before we upgrade the hammer. Customize. Take this off. And then equip something useful like more thunder. 
and then upgrade. to level two and then customize we can put like another thunder on you and then for now we can put that on you so that you have a much much higher attack we should probably also repair you while we're in there before i forget and lose all of the work that we put in on it <laughs> uh now i guess we're just clearing the dungeon like normal i also kind of have to pee probably because somebody made me drink so much no i'm joking <laughs> i wanted to anyways I get thirsty. We've got a roof. Somebody's missing the entire roof to their house. That sucks. Fire. Mm, we don't really need fire. We need thunder. We need holy. We need... All of the, like, undead, mage slayer, etc. Nice, that actually went pretty well. I'm used to the mimics being assholes. They just always seem to, like, before at least, they always seem to get their attack in before we got ours in. Oh, you bitch. So then we would get hit when it felt entirely unnecessary. Okay, we're not missing any creatures this time. We good. Awesome. On to the next area. Did we... Yeah, we equipped the Synth Sphere, right? Temporarily, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Actually, one other thing, though. With that Synth Sphere equipped, we should be applying an attribute to it. Because it'll do more damage. Our MP's low, and apparently... Your attribute damage is based off of how much MP the weapon has, so it's not going to be amazing, like an amazing bonus to damage, but it's still going to be a bonus to damage. Oh my god, dude. It takes so much. Every, like, swing of this thing deals so much damage to itself. It costs us so much repair powder. I mean, thankfully, the shit's cheap. It's not, like, the end of the world, but holy hell. Okay, Mimic down. We're not gonna fight the Dune with him. We're gonna switch to range. To you. Uh, how much damage does that do? 18? Nah. Steve it is. Yeah, 114. It's literally like 10 shots of the regular slingshot from Steve. It is so much better. And we'll swap back to you. Should just swap to main dude. So we could open this Atla in a second, but oh well. Who needs to play efficiently anyways? Give us, I don't know, a person? Totem pole head too, okay. So we're gonna set up another totem pole, I guess. I'll go this way before we go back to the entrance. Stand in powder. Is our inventory doing okay? 58 to 90. Yeah, we're fine. I was really worried it was going to be getting full. But I guess all of the, like, food and water that we've had to use recently really helped clear it out. Okay, well, there's the way down. I guess we should have gone back to the entrance first. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I was scratching my face. I wasn't ready for an actual, like, monster to appear, a creature. I should always just assume that a freaking chest is going to be a mimic, honestly, but, like... They're not too bad when they're stuck against the wall and can't run around and shit. Honestly, they're not that bad in general. It's just... I don't know, man. I just hate them. 
I wonder if Thunder would be better against this dude. Pair. So our Thunder's like almost as high, right? Yeah, almost. 65? I'm not sure what kind of damage it was doing to begin with, though. It seemed to work out well enough, though. Switch back to you. And switch to Steve. More? Yeah, one more. Steel slingshot. There we go. Swap back to Steve. Swap our character back over to Goro. <clears throat> oh, I did it again, dude. Go to him, actually, so we can open these stupid balls up. Another set of odds and ends? I guess somebody else must like to keep their clothes in, in an odds and ends set. Key for a door that we haven't found. Another Mimic. Swap back to Goro. Kill the Mimic. Maybe if I could hit him. Oh. There we go. One creature down, man. It's already almost time to apply repair powder again. Is terrible. Hey, a fairy orb. Cool. And we are going to have to go all the way back no matter what because there's a atla over there. Hmm. And I'm guessing that's a person. That sounds like a person. Now we have to switch to Zhao to cross the gap. And then now that we're over here, we have to swap back to our bro to open. Nope. Not that bro. This bro. To open the balls again. <laughs> See, it's just, it's just a little bit much, man. The amount of menuing. I almost called it inventory, but it's not really even inventory. It's just dealing with the inventory. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> dealing with the menus. I'm tired as balls. My bad. Don't mind me. Freaking mimic. At least there's a heal up here, so as long as this mimic doesn't like wreck our shit. We can save on a healing item or two. Why did that take so much freaking weapon stamina? Thank god for that auto repair powder, I guess. But we need to equip another one before that happens again. I guess because he was blocking? So since he was... Oh, wait. Are we out of repair powder? Um... Okay. Well, that sucks. I guess because he was blocking, it registered as, like, multiple hits. I've never noticed that happen before, though. That's the only thing that makes any sense to me. Yeah, I really don't need the map right now, game. What I really want is... I don't know, to be done with this floor. <laughs> I guess. Some repair powder. Repair powder would also be nice. Um, anything that helps me get Super Steve. Would like that. crab. We're even gonna be able to, yeah, we, we should, oh, shoot. Should be able to kill the crab. Can we kill this next crab, though? That I'm not so sure about. It's three per hit. Uh, one more hit. Let's go. And it's full. Perfect timing. Okay. Weapon! 
customize. We gotta remember to take you off. And then, do we have... The only thing we have is Undead Buster, which I would prefer to actually give Undead Buster to the actual thing, because we'll get the full amount instead of just one from it. Maybe two, depending how it rounds things. Um, I guess... We go to Steve. Everything's maxed out. He has a bunch of fire. Do we give him more fire for some reason? I don't really see the point in giving him more fire, but we could. Hmm. Even like speed? Yes, yeah, speed. Literally everything. We fight a lot of mimics. Let's just give him mimic. To like one point, that's a, this will provide a mimic. Or actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot something. If we go back to us, we have this Gladius that we were planning on upgrading that we hadn't yet. There we go. Steal it from there. Customize. There's another thunder for you. Now you can upgrade. Yes. But with that said, we don't have the repair powder to use you anymore. Um, do you have Mage Slayer or anything? No. So you're completely useless. Your weapon, we can't turn into a Synth Sphere. So useless. I guess now it is main bro that we're going to be working on for the anti-undead. So give you that for now. And then it's better to have something than nothing, so go ahead and give you that too. Oh, attacks is already at max. Never mind. Do you have endurance? Endurance plus one. There we go. Okay, uh, swap characters. Hey, at least that's one less thing we need to, like, swap away from, right? Because we can use him to <clears throat> open the Atlas and fight now. So that's nice, I guess. Ooh, Enga's house. So we got Enga and their house? Perfect. We took a hit, didn't we? As Goro. Heal that up for him real quick. It's a free heal. and be dumb not to... Not to deal with it real quick since it's free. Oh, I need Zhao. Forgot about the gap over here. This floor is feeling extra long. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually, like, taking longer than usual. Or if it's just because of the amount of menuing that we had to do. Or the annoyance of, like, running out of repair powder and crap. <clears throat> I was hoping to be done with this dungeon today, but I don't think that's going to happen. We only got, like, 15-20 minutes left. We still have a couple more floors to go through, sadly. Oh, shit. I missed the garbage can. <laughs> I have to pick that up. Two chests and an atla. No enemies? Not a single. Well, unless these are mimics, I guess. Hey, some water. That's nice. And a mimic. Uh, okay. It also costs three to use the Gladius. Ugh. Uh, you can keep the Endurance. I don't really care about that. So then... Screw it. We're just going to use Steve then. I'm just going to say screw it and upgrade Steve. 
and that's who we're going to use. Assuming he has, he has a little bit of health left. Customize, give him the dude. Upgrade. Yes. Steve plus five and build up. He needs more thunder, more mage slayer, more hunted and more knight. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> it's, it's such a why? Did we get a status shift at some point? I wonder because like was his what is this even? Anti-rock always so high? I don't think it was. A status shift could really come in clutch now, though, with this. Alright, give you more Mage Slayer or whatever, Undead Killer. And then I don't think we have anything else that's useful for you right now. Oh, wrong character. You. You're a bastard. Stop guarding. Stop jumping so much. <laughs> oh, back to dude. To open the dude. Uh, okay. Zabo. Sounds like another dude. I don't want to deal with that beeping. There we go. Much better. So we need to go buy a bunch of repair powder. And at this point, we just need, what, thunder? And then the three dudes, which the three dudes are like the hardest thing to get. Thunder is not too bad. We can buy thunder. It's expensive, but we can easily buy it. But the mage slayer, undead killer, and knight, whatever the hell it's called. Those ones are much harder to come by. I wonder if the last shop in the game, <clears throat> the one that you can buy, like, gems from, I wonder if any of them increase those three stats or not. Hopefully. Because otherwise it's really going to be a pain in the ass to upgrade Steve. Steve... And then leave, leave. Is there anything new spawned in here before I leave? Doesn't look like it. We're not going to search the whole town again for spawns like we did last time, but we are going to go to the shop, do any events we can, etc. <laughs> A new config. Angus house. Will it fit over here? It will. We can't leave the gap like we have been, but oh well. House goes there. Totem pole, whatever. Uh, You can go in between these two houses. What do I have at the back? Is that everything? That is everything, okay. Totem pole second head. So we don't have the top yet for this one. Not a resident, but totally settled in. Boy who lives with Gosuke. Boy with a gentle heart? No. I don't think it's going to be any of these people. Well, Anga probably lives in Anga's house. <laughs> that would make the most sense. We don't have stairs. We do have the stairway roof. We have the odds and ends. So I guess we just need to talk to Anga. That's the only person that we can do anything with. Yep. Here. We'll check yours since your house is new. Okay, and I see this one here. We can't just ignore it. Also, clutch undead buster. Let's go. We'll equip that before we forget. Customize. Another undead buster. It's slowly climbing, man. And before we get like a status shift again, though, and all of this is for naught. Wait, can we not even go in your house until we get the stairs? 
<laughs> Your house is just like, oof, okay. How do they get in? The lights are on in there. I'd have to assume somebody's in there right now. Do you hang outside by any chance? You do. Here we go. Hello? There we go. You're an outsider, huh? My name is Anga. I'm just an old man, though. Uh, what do you need for your home? Don't forget the trendy hay roof. If you forget, my place will look like a piece of gourd. And, of course, the totem. Yeah. I mean, everybody wants a totem. And a roof. So you need stairs and a totem. Okay. That doesn't seem unreasonable. We can get you those things eventually. Walking mode. Do we do one more? Floor? How long did the last floor take? The last one felt super long. I'm gonna save, because we might not do another one, but I'm gonna see if it's like a special floor or a regular floor. If it's a special floor, we'll at least go in it and check to see what it is. If it's like a boss one or something, we'll deal with it. If it's something annoying, then... Or a regular floor, then we'll probably just call it here. It's only really got about eight minutes-ish left. I don't think that's enough time to clear a whole floor. Even though our weapons are much stronger than they were before, we didn't, uh, didn't get quite as far as I had hoped. It's a regular floor. Yeah, I guess that's time for us to call it then, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out while we played some Dark Cloud. I do appreciate you all. I should be back tomorrow night to play some Baldur's Gate 2. Yes, Baldur's Gate 2 with my brother. As far as I know, that's still going on. So I hope to see you guys there. In the meantime, have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye! We're here to help. Earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Pity. Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. Oh, oh start of my.